since week one and of the NFL regular season begins this week, we will preview week one's games, at least the games that I feel deserve to have some previews to it. The first game is actually the first game of the season, Bills vs. Rams. This is Thursday night, the Super Bowl ceremony will be happening. The Bills are favored by two and a half. I'm not going against the Rams on this. I think the Rams are better. The acquisition of Bobby Wagner bringing back Aaron Donald. I just don't see how the Bills are going to survive against this defense. I think the Rams win. Not by a whole lot, but they win. Score is going to be 24-21. Next up is the Patriots versus the Dolphins at 1 o'clock on Sunday. Dolphins are favored by 3. Now, as we just mentioned, the Patriots are flying in on Tuesday instead of Saturday. I just don't think that does any difference. I don't trust the Patriots offense. Dolphins win. Scores 28-21. Next up. Chiefs versus Cardinals, 425. Chiefs are favored by 4.5. They're actually giving the Cardinals 4.5. I just think the Cardinals are going to have a hard and a rough start because with no DeAndre Hopkins, I don't think A.J. Green is what he used to be. And I just think the Chiefs, they won't be, it won't be as competitive as it would have been in recent years where it would have been a track meet. However, I take the Chiefs on this one only because I don't think the Cardinals have enough of it take at this point. So I take the Chiefs. I actually then I can even cover the spread. I don't think spreads four and a half. They may win by three because games in Week One are usually closer. Score is going to be 24-21. Next up, Sunday Night Football: Bucks versus Cowboys. Buccaneers are favored by one and a half. This is an interesting game because the Cowboys, who have offensive line troubles on their own, so do the Buccaneers, as three or four offensive linemen have gone down with injuries. I don't know exactly, like, Godwin, it was just announced that Chris Godwin took off his knee brace and he looks almost 100%. Russell Gage looks like he's going to play. We'll see if Tristan Wirfs does, which probably he will. However, I'm a little concerned if I'm the Bucks offensive line. How are you going to protect Tom? And I think the Cowboys' run game has been better. Or run defense is better this year than it was. So, and again, close games. I'm going to go with the upset here. I think the Cowboys can pull it out very close. 23-20. Raiders vs. Chargers as one of the interesting games. The Raiders and Chargers always have these nail biters. Last year, the ending of the season, Raiders vs. Chargers, winner. Both teams can go into the playoffs as long as they tie. All they have to do is tie, and they win. They both go in. Or, the Steelers can't win, and as long as the Steelers don't win, both teams are in. Well, the Steelers won. They just have to tie their both in. The Raiders and Chargers have to, just have to tie. Raiders win. Steelers make the playoffs. Chargers have a three-point or three-point favor. I don't agree with this at all. I think the Raiders win just because I don't trust the Chargers and Brandon Staley as the head coach for Week One. But the score is going to be 28-21. And finally, Steelers versus Bengals. Bengals are favored by six and a half. Uh, it's just all depending on how good the Steelers look. I'm taking the Bengals only because I don't know who's starting for the Saint for the Steelers. Excuse me, and I think it'll be Trubisky. We'll have to see what they can do, but I'm taking the Bengals to win. 
31 to 24.